Are you looking to get better photos for your candles? Well, in today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that for very cheap. Hello, everyone. I'm Jeff Stanley with Stanley Handcrafted, and today we're going to talk about how to get better photos without spending a ton of money and using things like your own windows for lights and your phone as the camera. Now, I've already gone through and I've done this one. I was using this. Uh, it's uh, obviously in the evening tonight. Uh, so this morning when I woke up, it was really nice outside. Uh, it had it was it was very bright outside. There was a ton of natural light coming through the window. And I've seen a lot of people in the past week or two in the Facebook candle group talking about how to get better photos and if they should go pay for a professional photographer asking what cameras to get, what kind of lighting kits to get. So I wanted to show people that it can be done in your own home with a phone camera for very little money and very little equipment. Now, of course, even going through this demo, I'm gonna show you exactly what I did on this one. I'm gonna put some video up right here, show you exactly what I did. There still is a little bit of tweaking after this, but even with, like I'm gonna show you, setting your candle up in a window or next to a window that has a lot of natural light coming into it, you can instantly get really nice looking photos. And one of the biggest reasons I wanted to show this one is I see a lot of people doing things wrong and it's not that they don't know that they're doing them wrong. It's the same thing I did when I first got started. You just don't know what's right. You don't know how to do these things. I didn't know how to do these things. So of course I made the same mistakes that I'm seeing a lot of people in the Facebook group posting their pictures are making and that's uh, for one, using too much light. And of course, on the other side of that, not using enough light. And you can get away with a lot by using just the natural light that comes through your windows. Uh, and when I say people are using too much light, what I mean by that is I see a lot of people taking their candles outside and they put them in direct sunlight. And what you're going to get from that is really blown out photos. They're going to look really bright. They're going to look really harsh. And you can really fix a lot of that by diffusing that light. And you can use a lot of different things. Uh, uh, I've seen a lot of people use just a just a blank white sheet uh, that you put on your bed. So people will take that out. So the sunlight is coming down and they'll put a sheet uh, basically in between the sunlight and your candle so you can kind of diffuse that light. It softens it up quite a bit. It's definitely not as harsh and it doesn't look as bad. Uh, but if you don't want to take your candles outside, you can do a lot inside. And I'm going to show you the video on what I did right now. All right, so for these guys, I'm just going to do two different ones. I'm basically using this right here, which is the Replica Surfaces mobile station. And I'm sitting right in front of this window just to get uh, as much natural light coming in as possible. And when I say natural light, uh, we don't want direct sunlight. The sunlight is actually behind us this way, uh, but it's still getting a ton of natural light coming in this way. And that's exactly what we're looking for. And on this one, uh, you can kind of just turn this one a little bit and you can see how the shading starts to open up a little bit more. You see that background right there. It goes from really light to really dark. And then this one right here, I'm just going to use this as a kind of a flat lay, uh, just coming in over the top like this. And then, of course, I'm just going to go back through, lay these out just a little, lay these out just a little bit so I can kind of position some stuff. And I'm just going to be using my cell phone because most people have a phone that they can take pictures with. And you can see in the video on this one, uh, the light that's coming in is basically just the sunlight. The sunlight is actually coming from the other side of the house, so it's not beaming directly through that window, but it's so bright outside that the light is still coming through the window and offering really good light that's basically on that background that you can see laying down and the candle that I put down. And for the pictures on this one, I'm just using a basic iPhone. Well, I won't say a basic iPhone. I'm using uh, an iPhone 13 Pro Max, but it really doesn't matter what you use. Uh, I was using years ago an iPhone 9, iPhone X, and getting really nice pictures with this exact same method. And I would say, like I was mentioning just a second ago, if you have a window that has sunlight coming directly into it. Like you can look out that window and you can see the sun beaming through, move away from that window and go to one where it's just the natural light from the sun. Like if there's a window in front of me right here. So if the sun is coming through that one, go over to this window so that it's just the light coming through that window and not the direct sunlight. But to add on to that, if you do have a window and the sunlight is coming directly through that, you can put a sheet, just grab a white sheet. You can put it directly in front of that window right there and you can really diffuse a lot of that light. And I'm gonna go ahead and put some of the pictures up here. Uh, I didn't do anything with these photos. This is literally me walking over, setting up within five, 10 seconds, taking the picture, and this is what it came out like. I didn't add any filters. I didn't adjust the contrast or the brightness or anything like that. 
which are all things that you can do, but I wanted to show you exactly what it looks like with that window, this phone, and just shooting and posting it. And of course, after that, you can go into programs like Adobe or even Instagram. I do this quite a bit. I'll, I'll take those photos, put them into Instagram, run through some of the filters that are on them, do a little bit of adjustments if I need to. Uh, if I need to, uh, basically, I work with contrast a lot. I like photos with a little bit more contrast, so I'll bump that up a little bit. But uh, the photos that you're seeing here are natural, straight out of the camera, no filters, just what the camera's doing. I'll go through as needed and soften them up or do different things to them. Or if you have a certain aesthetic within Instagram, definitely don't be afraid to jump in there and add some filters on those and kind of touch them up a little bit more if you need to. But like I said throughout the video and it basically the video that I showed you, there's a lot you can do with very minimal stuff. Now, some of the backgrounds that I was using in this video are from Replica Services. They're a really nice background, uh, but you don't necessarily need to use a background like, and that's why I went ahead. I've got a background from Replica Services that is a sheet pan background, uh, but a lot of people have just regular sheet pans sitting in their stove or sitting in their cabinet they, that they use for their stove for cookies or anything like that. Pizzas, go grab one of those, put something on it, or just get anything from around the house. There are a lot of things that you can get around the house that will really make a nice background. And of course, I've shown in other videos a really good way to get away uh, with having a nice background but not spending a ton of money is to go to Lowe's or Home Depot and go to their kitchen and tile section and just get kitchen and tile sets or just single tiles. They usually run they usually run one to five dollars depending on what kind of tile you get, uh, the style of it, the size of it but you can get some really nice tiles for very cheap that look really good. But again, that's pretty much it with this one. Uh, if you have any questions on anything I did in this video, please let me know in the comment section down below. Definitely hit subscribe on the channel so that you can see any future updates that we do as far as photography. I'd like to go a little bit further, do a little bit more on the photography, jumping up into a camera like I'm using here, just to show you the difference between what a phone can do and what a kind of high-end uh, camera can do. So definitely jump over, hit like on the video, hit subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.